It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. As I record this video, it's safe to say that Feminist Frequency will no longer exist as an organization. Today, I share the news that Feminist Frequency is closing. The work this team did to affect change in the video game industry made a difference. All of us at Feminist Frequency and Games Hotline hope to see improvements continue. For me, it means prioritizing rest and taking time away from the direct responsibility of being the face of a mission for the first time in a decade and a half. You can stay in touch with me at my website or on various social media. The games and online harassment hotline will be available through September 30th, after which time its fantastic leader will continue to operate its accountability support space Rec, Spec, and the website will stay live with critical responses, resources for building a safer games culture. Our podcast, Feminist Frequency Radio, will continue to be helmed by its co host Trails Voices Woman, and our full video archive will remain online and available as free media and criticism resource indefinitely. It will make sure that our community is kept informed of all the closing details as a final annual report will be published and a celebration for community and industry partners will be held in early 2024. When I saw this news for the first time, I thought to myself that nothing of value was actually lost when it comes down to this whole particular matter. Now, I'm actually friends with a feminist. Her name is Holy Humanist, and we go along just fine. But the way that Arnita Sarkeesian has been going about things throughout the whole entire course of the years has been absolutely horrible when it comes down to her own personal conduct because she claimed at some point that she was actually a gamer and it turns out that she was not necessarily a gamer in the slightest. I've been playing video games since I was about five years old. I'm going to show you a remix that I just finished this weekend and no one else has seen. (laughs) One person has seen it. It's a soundtrack of one song, except I'm doing video games. So it's not exactly a fandom. I'm not a fan of video games. I actually had to learn a lot about video games in the process of making this. Not only did Anita Sarkeesian outright lied of being a gamer, but also during her ad campaign for Trolls vs. Women, you can see quite clearly in the video that the Xbox controller was not necessarily on for the ad campaign. Video games are so interesting and engaging and interactive. I, I'm a gamer and I enjoy games. Another thing I remember quite clearly from Anita Sarkeesian is that she said that everything must be racist, everything must be sexist, and you have to point it all out. Everything is sexist, everything is racist, everything is homophobic, and you have to point it all out. Let us not also forget that she was one of the first ones that came up with the idea of like listen and believing. Conspiracy theories are often driven by an underlying fear of authority. This particular paranoia about feminists taking over video games is further fueled by a deep underlying distrust of women. There is a prevailing feeling among an alarming number of men that women with any degree of perceived power, success, or influence do not deserve their positions in male-dominated fields, and that therefore they must be using manipulative or duplicitous means to gain and hold on to those positions. When women experience harassment and harm, we are blamed for the abuse we receive and regularly told that we were either asking for it or inventing it entirely. Again, what I've described to you today is not unique to me and my experience. Every day, many women voicing their opinions online deal with a similar flood of slander and defamation designed to undermine their careers, their credibility, their resolve, and their confidence. So I leave you with one simple thought. One of the most radical things you can do is to actually believe women when they tell you about their experiences. Thank you. I want to be perfectly clear that I'm not trying to say that we should not necessarily automatically believe in people who are raped. I do think, however, that when it comes on this issue, that we should suspend judgment until the final judgment has been called in courts. And so when I see rhetoric like listen and believe from people like Anita Sarkeesian, I don't understand why exactly that she does not want to have a free trial for it comes down to these kind of victims of people who are actually personally victimized because of the attacks that they actually occurred to them. Yeah, so um, 
Feminist Frequency is a nonprofit that I run where we look at the way women are represented in the media. Um, and by doing this work, I have been the target uh, for three years nonstop um, of egregious online harassment in all levels. Um, I think it's important to, to recognize that harassment is, as someone had mentioned, it's not just what is legal and illegal, right? Harassment is uh, threats of violence, but it's also the day-to-day -day grind of you're a liar, you suck, you, you know, making all of these hate videos to attack us on a regular basis and the mobs that come um, from those hate videos. So according to her logic, videos like these are basically a form of harassment, even though I don't personally endorse the idea of harassment. Speaking about harassment, throughout the many years, it seems as though that Sarkeesian has claimed to have death stress against her, but what exactly the data is when it comes down to this particular issue? It says right here that the FBI has released its Gamergate investigation records. The FBI has posted a heavily redacted report of the stress investigation during the Gamergate controversy in 2014 and 2015, the 172 page document, now counting 61 deleted pages, primarily seem to cover harassment against critic Anita Sarkeesian and game developer Brianna Wu, including a shooting threat that caused Sarkeesian to, plan to cancel a planned talk at Utah State University. Ultimately, the investigation petered out. The FBI wasn't able to identify the people behind some of the stress apparently declined to persecute others, and appears to have struggled with disputant issues. Names identifying information of when blanked out the report, but plenty of the documents could be matched to known incidences. A substantial portion, for example, is devoted to a handful of stress regarding U Utah State University talks, a mixture of apparently totally not serious messages and a joking one referring to internet memes, Another section clearly refers to an incident involving a YouTube personality named Jace Carters, who made over-the-top stress against Brianna Wu before unveiling himself as a comedian. Anita Sarkeesian throughout the years have been caught scamming people on many different ways. If you guys go to Kickstarter for Trolls vs. Women, you'll find out that there are at least 13 different backers that want to have a DVD set of feminist frequency. Now, where exactly is the evidence of the DVD sets because all those backers that want the DVD set are actually a scam directly from her. With FF dying, never forget when Anita crowdfunded a new scam while traveling the globe and preparing a speaking tour, 20,000 per speech, all her longest employee was unable to pay for rent and Medicare. Soon after, she downgraded as a volunteer as FF couldn't pay the staff at all. And here are the images right here about what happened when she was actually in the speaking tour right here. Throughout the years, she also said many deplorable things. For example, she says right here that the U.S. bottomed back into traditional values. Feminism does not exist in Japan. While I do not like judging the entire culture, it does not excuse them. She says right there, there is no such thing as sexism against men. That's because sexism is prejudice and power. Men are the dominant gender with power in society. As you guys can see in this video, I'm not going to miss Anita Sarkeesian one bit. Like she caused like a lot of scams throughout her whole entire career so far. She seems to just lies about being a gamer throughout the whole entire thing. She tried to shut down the critics because they criticized her. There's like a lot of stuff that I don't necessarily like about her that much. And so the idea that basically she announced that she's going to actually shut down feminist frequency is actually a good idea, in my opinion, because all the stuff that she has done has made the gaming industry much worse as it is. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I would <laughs> find him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.